see this problem resolve the following fractions into partial fractions 2x square plus 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 into x square plus 2 our motive is to find the partial fractions for the given function which is like f of x of order 2 divided by g of x of order 1 and h of x of order 2 which can be resolved like some a by g of x plus some bx plus c by h of x of order 2 so why do i wrote like this here h is of order 2 and the denominator's order is greater than the order of the numerator so in the second partial fraction i have taken a function which has some x term under that i have the function which is having order 2 so like this we can make the partial fractions now come to the investigation part 2x square plus 3x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 into x square plus 2 we can't further divide it into this function as fractions we need to consider this as a function which is having order of 2 so which can be resolved like some a by x minus 1 plus some bx plus c divided by x square plus 2 so the function which is not possible to resolve into the functions of x of order 1 for that functions we need to write the partial fraction like this so now come to the resolving part if you take lcm on lhs side the two denominators will become same so we can remove that one and we can write the remaining thing as 2x square plus 3x plus 4 is equal to a into x square plus 2 plus bx plus c into x minus 1 so to solve a b c values put x is equal to 0 so by putting x is equal to 0 the rh side will have only 4 which is equal to by putting 0 here you will get 2a by putting 0 here this term will become 0 but c will be there by putting 0 here you will have minus 1 so minus 1 into c it is minus c let the equation be 1 now put x is equal to 1 so on rh side you will have 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is 9 is equal to by putting 1 here you will have 3a by putting 1 here this term will become 0 so 0 into something is 0 so you have only a term from this this is 9 is equal to 3a so a is equal to 3 substitute this a value in the first equation you will get 4 is equal to 2 into 3 it is 6 minus c bring this minus c to this side so you will have c bring this 4 to that side that is equal to 6 minus 4 2 so we got a and c values now put x is equal to minus 1 so by putting minus 1 here it is 2 and minus 3 plus 4 is equal to by putting minus 1 here you will get minus 1 square is 1 so 1 plus 2 3 so 3a by putting minus 1 here you have minus b plus c which should be multiplied with minus 1 minus 1 so it is minus 2 so minus b plus c should multiply with minus 2 so you will get uh, plus 2b minus 2c we have a and c values substitute that values in this equation so you will get 2 plus 4 6 minus 3 it is 3 is equal to a value is this so 3 into 3 it is 9 plus 2b minus c value is 2 so 2 into 2 it is 4 so this implies if this minus 4 goes to that side it will become plus 4 so 4 plus 3 7 and if 9 goes to that side it will become minus 9 so 7 minus 9 is minus 2 so minus 2 is equal to 2b so from this b is equal to minus 1 we have three values three constant values so we can write the partial fraction as 
3 by x minus 1 plus b is minus 1. So, minus 1 into x is minus x, c is 2. So, plus 2 divided by x square plus 2. That implies 3 by x minus 1 plus 2 minus x by x square plus 2.